Hello! Welcome everyone. Thanks so much for stopping in. Looking forward today to getting this out of the box. It's still in the box. I haven't even taken it out of the box. I've had it sitting in the workshop for two days now uh, since it arrived. A little bit late. I appreciate everybody checking in today instead of on Thursday when I was... No, Wednesday. Wednesday when I was supposed to do it. Uh, but happy you're all here with me now. Um, let's check in with the comments, see what people are saying. Hello, everyone. Hey, Harley. Oh, Harley's got his dancing money out already. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, all right, everybody's asking about deadbolt updates or upgrades. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you guys have got your priorities straight this afternoon. Um, well, okay. Uh, why don't we just get right into it? First thing I want to mention, uh, if you're looking at this box right now, you're seeing, uh, obviously, you know, just the corner of this box. It's a huge box. It's taking up uh, ample space in the workshop here. Uh, but I just want to point out, people have been saying, well, duh, this is an RC four-wheel drive product, and it's got RC four-wheel drive's logo on it, and there's sticker and everything. This is a sticker. It's a sticker that somebody put on the box. This is a JD model, okay? It's not an RC four-wheel drive. RC four-wheel drive is the uh, distributor, but it's not everybody. It's not an RC four-wheel drive product, so... I presume that RC Four Wheel Drive is just distributing it. They may make parts for it at some point, but this is JD model all the way through and through. Okie dokie. Ah, thanks for the dollar, Harley. Thanks, man. All right, I got my blade out. I'm gonna open the box right now. Uh, as far as boxes go, it's a pretty good looking box. Uh, I'd say, uh, you know, it's it's pretty black. It's a pretty big black box. Uh, the, the graphic is, uh, sort of a 3D representation of what you're getting inside. And, uh, yeah, that's about all there is to it. I'm going to, I'm going to open it up now. Uh, so bear with me for a moment while I cut all this tape. Uh, it's well packaged. You can, you can certainly, certainly say that for sure. A uh, few of you have already received these out there on the interwebs and done your own unboxings and, uh, I applaud you for that because now I don't have to go through much of the minutia. I can just get right into it and give my first impressions. Um, one thing I will say, though, is that I think I'm the first one to get the almost ready to run. Most people have gotten the ready to run. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how this differs from the RTR. I know obviously there won't be a motor or a speed controller or a servo or anything, but I didn't really want any of those things anyway. Uh, I prefer to use my own electronics and uh, RTR electronics are never that great to begin with. Uh, one other interesting thing of note um, is that they suggest, they suggest somewhere here, let me just flip this around really quickly. They suggest that um, there might be other colors, blue, red, white, black, uh, that would be that would be interesting. Um, it's obviously it's molded in those colors, I imagine. So it'll probably be a little while before we see um, any of those other colors on the market. Okay, now pull it off the table for just a second so I can get it out of the box. Uno momento, por favor. Trying to do this as quietly and as Oh dear, oh dear. Already having issues. There we go, there we go. So little space in this tiny little workshop. Uh, so you've seen that there's a lot of foam in here. Let's get this back on the table. All right, you can't even see that. So uh, let's quickly turn it this way. You can see that it's Nicely foamed, lots of package. And let's just get it out of here. Oh, it smells so new. 
Uh, first things first, there's a little box of parts. I'm not sure what these little doodads are. Uh, looks like, oh, there's some wipers in there and some screws and a little miniature drive shaft and some servo savers, it looks like. Stickers. These are uh, hood scoops, I guess. And uh, finally, oh boy, I think I have to do this off the table here. It, it's, it's a fairly weighty, weighty model. I like how, all right, here we go. Oh man. I'm finding it hard to get it out. break anything obviously Can you see that there look at that it's almost like I should have done oh the tires are turned all the way that's why okay here we go and there we go there it is Oh, there's a bearing in the bottom of the box. That's always a good sign. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. Can everyone hear me fine? Is everybody uh, everybody hearing me loud and clear? Give me a thumbs up or something if you can. So here it is. Look at that. Let's get a better angle here. There we go. There we go. Look at this thing. This is an impressive looking bit of kit. Seeing it firsthand, I'm 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 impressed. The molding is pretty darn good. Um, I wouldn't say it's the the best or or most cleanest um, mold ever, but it's pretty good. It's molded in black. There's no paint on it, so I could stand to get a paint job. Um, a few minor detail issues that I can see right away that I'm not like I'm not surprised by it's a it's you know it's a molded body and there's no door handles on the, the rear door um, but uh, you know, these open up which is pretty neat nice interior in there looks like you could get a nice um, uh, eight inch man in there probably there's actually like room under the uh, the dash for like uh, actually fitting the foot of a man in there so that's that's pretty good is the front already scratched uh, no there's some mold lines there's a bit of rubbing from when it was shipped and uh, you can see that there's some so abrasions on the glass I can polish that out. That's not a big deal. Um, yeah, wow, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. It's definitely, it's not a crawler. <laughs> I will, I will say that 100% right now. It's not a crawler, but uh, it definitely looks pretty good. It definitely looks good. It's, a lot of people have said they would use this as like a tow rig or uh you know, like to uh, to tow their other trucks around. I can definitely see why you would do that. It's it's less of a crawler, more of a scale accurate truck. I think that's probably the best kind of description for it. Uh, heavy on the details, um, nice accurate looking drivetrain. That is pretty cool. Let's see if we can get the whole thing in frame there. There we go. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a turn. This, people have said this is metal. This is not metal. This is plastic, 100%. Uh, metal, metal drive shafts, uh, metal chassis rails. Uh, mine's PH01 or 0127. Um, so that's that's neat. Uh, these, there is one. It looks like there's one 
one metal uh, leaf spring and then two plastic leaf springs. So there is a metal one in there. I can virtually guarantee that that's metal. Uh, I love that IFS. That is super cool. What a great setup that is. Universals uh, that go to a dog bone for the outputs. Uh, the shocks are cool. Uh, I've been told the reservoirs are functional reservoirs. So that's, that's pretty neat. Uh, lockable, unlockable differentials. Uh, we're going to have to see how all that goes together as soon as we get this body off. Um, these running boards are nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah. Um, functional tailgate. Has a little uh, two grippy spring-based pins in there. So you just uh, hold those and it closes nicely. Hero, what the heck is that? I've never heard of a Ford F-150 Hero. Anyway. All right, let's go to the questions. See where we are here. I've missed a bunch of stuff, of course. Um, it looks like a kid's toy. Well, it does and it doesn't. I think the body itself um, is fairly raw and it definitely needs to be detailed and properly painted for it to not look so toy-like. Underneath, I don't think it's a toy at all. I think it's a very nicely put together bit of model. Are, are there plastic elements to it? Yeah, of course, but I think there are on every truck, really. No? Am I wrong in, in assuming that? I think it's got a lot of potential. Um, and it, it, I'm probably, like I, I've told people on other um, streams and other uh, live broadcasts that I'm not going to be using the body, and I won't be. Um, I may try to reuse the interior, um, and I'm definitely going to be changing things up, and I'm going to make this my own. It's not going to be this uh, F-150 Raptor knockoff anymore. It'll be uh, something else. I haven't totally decided yet, but I'll let you guys guess at what I might be doing with it. Uh, answering the servo saver question, thank you. Um, yeah, it definitely needs some polishing. Uh, Super Duty, yeah, that'd be kind of cool for sure. Um, how much did it cost? Uh, I can't remember. I could go online and tell you. It's like four something for the almost ready to run. Let me just quickly head over to RC four wheel drive and see what they're charging. Almost ready to run is four sixty nine ninety nine, and the ready to run is five forty nine ninety nine. There you go. Opportunity for someone who 3D prints to make an actual Ford grill. Yes, definitely. If you wanted to swap these out, uh, I think it is fairly straight ahead. Uh, I'm not sure on the rear end. It looks a little bit more like um, that's molded into the tailgate. Uh, but the front, I know the front grill, uh, that'll pop out for sure if you want to pop on your own uh, 3D printed one. What color am I thinking? I don't know. I may not, I'm probably not even going to do anything with this body. Um, I'd rather uh, get it to somebody who's going to use it and uh, appreciate it. These are weird. Uh, can you see those? Those are weird. I don't, I don't really know uh, what they were trying to do here. I guess they're sort of like a running light, but there's no lights included. I don't, I don't know if you can even get up in there easily and put a uh, light in. Well, they do have, it's like a light bucket, sort of. So, I mean, I guess you could do something there. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't love the look of that though. That to me is sort of probably the weakest part. Uh, gooseneck trailer. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool uh, for sure. Um, it is, it is much more a uh, scale accurate uh, drivetrain than you would see on an, an SCX-10 II or a TRX-4 or a Terra Ascender or whatever. Um, it is really not set up to be a crawler. You'd have to modify this 
substantially, I think, to, to get to that point. Uh, bigger wheels and tires, well, bigger tires anyway, um, probably have to raise the body up. And I know that uh, there are a lot of people already doing a body lift uh, kit. Um, you can 3D print some parts and pull the whole body up, which I think is a good idea. Axles with the U-bolts on the back. Yes, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's take another look at that real quick. Um, oh, one, one thing really quickly. On these door handles, it's almost like uh, there's a bit of friction to keep it from closing or opening on its own, which is great. But there's also, it latches closed. So if you want to like lock it, essentially, that's how to do that. Um, yeah, the, the scale accuracy on these U-bolts uh, on the back here are pretty darn good um, you can see that um, there's not a ton of flex actually there is a, it's a pretty good amount of flex actually going on there uh, the u-bolts are very cool the way they mount to the this leaf springs is great I think that all looks really nice there's even little like tow hooks there and uh, I, they feel they feel metal where's I have a magnet here hang on see yeah look at this these little tow hooks on the back those are metal whether they would actually hold up as an actual tow hook in, in uh, real life situations I don't know but that's pretty neat and they also have those on the front bumper too also metal it's a nice little thing this is a handy little tool let's see what else is metal the drive shafts metal Oh my, wait a second. No, it's the screws inside. Ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely plastic. So are the, the rear uh, axles, but all kinds of metal components inside there. So that's good to know. Uh, yeah, and that, that leaf spring is metal. Huzzah. That's good to know. I'm helping. I'm doing it. All right, uh, let's keep going here. Oh gosh. I think it's accurate with no rear door handle on the cab. Oh, the handle would be inside. Yes, of course. Right. I don't know my Fords very well, I guess. Uh, box mangling. You did. There was no. There was no. There was no ill handling of the box. <laughs> uh, the bed liner lifts out to get to the battery is a question. And you can see right here. There's a little latch. You just, I presume, pull up on that. Ugh. Yeah, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Right. There you go, and that's where the battery goes. Look at all the room in there. Let's. There, I got a battery handy. It's a 5200 milliamp hour Helios 3S battery. Uh, I really like this battery a lot. It's not super huge, but lots of capacity. That should slide. Oh yes, slides right in there. That is such a good feeling. <laughs> just perfectly i wonder i mean let's see here i bet you that this probably now it's stuck of course uh this probably goes right back in there and then this oh sorry there we go ah so satisfying to be able to do that and hide a battery <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever know that you're my hero? <laughs> uh, the underneath is by far the coolest in a while. Yes, I, I definitely, definitely 100% agree. It's very accurate, and uh, it's going to be a nice platform, I think, for people to do some very extremely cool builds. Ford equals deal breaker? Okay, well, I mean, not everybody's a fan of every other you know, brand out there. And uh, I know Ford people or Chevy people or um, Toyota people are certainly very fiercely loyal to their brands. But I think uh, even at the price it's at for the amount of accuracy and the amount of cool factor, I would, I would still go past whatever body's on there. And I'm sure you could find a, a great resale market for that body afterwards. Uh, Ripper is all metal. Yes, Ripper is all metal. It looks like the word hero could easily be modified to say Ford. Yeah, uh, 
Yeah, probably. It would require a little bit of work, but you could do it. Tailgate made for bed midler. <laughs> totally. Uh, take the body off. Yes, okay. What's... What? That's way too expensive? Way too expensive for what? You're getting an excellent, um, accurate model, uh, I think, to to convert any existing thing to IFS would be a big challenge. So, um, I think this is pretty good. I it, It's not cheap, but then again, it's not uh, mass market, and it's probably not something for everybody. I want to see the electronics. Well, there are no electronics. This isn't almost ready to run, so you won't, unfortunately, there won't be any electronics to see. It's, uh, it's, it's without electronics. Uh, there are other people who have the RTR, and uh, I opted not to get that because I didn't want RTR electronics. I wanted to put my own stuff in it. I will take the body off. Um, who's saying their ant uh, Rich, what do you mean by their antennas? Get back to me on that one. Yeah, the lights on top could have been to do that. I, maybe, maybe, but I don't think that I don't think that Ford would go after them because of that. <laughs> There's lots of lots of other reasons to go after them first. Um, yeah, I I understand that the body is going to be polarizing. Not everyone's going to be into it. Uh, it's definitely weighty. I should I should mention that it's not light. It's got some heft. I'd say probably easily 10, maybe 11 pounds, maybe even more right out of the box. And that's without any electronics. That's with a big battery in the back, mind you, but still, that's it's got some definite heft. Why don't we do a little uh, suspension test? See if I can get a good angle for that. There we go. Yeah, it's... It's got some movement to it. I, I think this will actually look really nice on the trails, like especially in videos. I think it's, I think it's going to be pretty cool. The wheels, the tires, I, I think are too small for this body. They don't. It doesn't look. It doesn't look right. It doesn't look accurate to me. Anyway, compound of the tires. Uh, it, they're pretty hard. It's a, it's a pretty hard tire. Uh, this the lug spacing is really 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 close together because um, they went for accuracy than rather than performance I think um, it feels like a you know kind of a standard RTR pattern it they're not as hard as some others I've I've handled that's what she said um, but uh, yeah I I don't I don't think they'll perform all that well but you know that's an easy fix Sorry guys, just catching up on questions. The 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 main leaf is metal. The other two helper leaves are plastic. Bonjour, comment ça va? <clears throat> Thanks for the subscription. Let me just uh, I need a little little hit of my tiny tiny coffee. Yeah, it is a good job on the uh, battery compartment. It's nice, but overpriced. A lot of people keep saying that it's too expensive. I'm going to disagree. I don't think anybody's done anything this accurate and with such a great body out of the box before. Uh... What what what's waterproof or not? There's no electronics in this one, guys. This is the almost ready to run, so I I don't I can't tell you if the electronics are, are waterproof or not. No more singing. I'll sing as much as I want, Josh. And there's no copyright infringement if I'm singing the songs. <laughs> Moving on to, to Toyota Tacoma TRD. Ooh, that would be interesting. Uh, I do have a very nice uh, 3D printed 
forerunner body. I'd have to change the rear suspension, but I could do that. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I don't think, I don't think Biddler's going to get after me for, for singing that song. Uh, uh, Dwayne, yes, I will take the wheels off here shortly. Uh, just want to get through some of these things and catch up on the questions. The hero letters pop out. Well, let's test that theory as well. Um, Cole Region Scalers, thanks for $5. That's really, really nice of you. Uh, off topic, but what are some upgrades you would recommend for the new Deadbolt? Oh boy. Uh, well, since you paid, I gotta tell you, um, I don't, I don't know. I, it, the best thing for you to do probably would be to go through both mine and Josh's, uh, budget builds on the honcho. A lot of what happens in the honcho, uh, also applies to the Deadbolt. So you can do that. Uh, but one thing I would recommend right away is upgrading the uh, links. Go to uh, incision uh, stainless, then you're probably going to be much happier. Uh, Deadbolt's RTR, so I'd also get rid of the servo um, and uh, look at new wheels and tires. I think those are all good starting points. Uh, thanks for the five dollars. Uh, rather than keep that cash, uh, I think like last time I'll donate it to uh, RC for a cure. They got $13, $12 last time, so let's see what we can generate for them this time around. Thanks very much again, Cole uh, Region Scalers. Um, hey, let's move it around so it doesn't look like nothing's happening over there. Let's, uh, let's open this door over here. Yeah, that, the, there's a lot of friction to get that door open, and I actually, I, I like that. I think that's really good. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, thanks, Lewis, for watching. I appreciate it. Oh, my goodness gracious. So many comments. Cheaper than the RC four-wheel drive Trailfinder 2 RTR? Is it? Somebody confirm that. Find out. I'm, I'm curious. I, I had this site open, and now I don't. I'm, I'm busy. Uh, guess I'll wait for the kit. Interesting. I, I wonder if JD Model would release a kit. Um, that Dakar truck that they did has been out for a while, and I haven't seen um, I haven't seen them do anything in terms of a kit with that one. According to some Austrian reviewer, I think you mean Daniel Siegel from Stone Rockers, uh, the gearbox is planetary 13 to 1. I will check that coffee cup looks like an oil filter I guess it kind of does yeah I hadn't considered that it's a very tiny oil filter for some sort of lawnmower $800 for an RC four-wheel drive blazer 900 for the vanquish it's priced fairly yeah I, well I mean you got to keep in mind this this truck doesn't perf it won't perform like either of those two that you that were mentioned um, this is this is definitely more of a scale accurate uh, trail truck. If you try to take this on the rocks, and I think Daniel's already done that. He may even have a video that he's working on right now. Um, I I would love to see how it performs, and obviously I'm going to take it out and do that once I put some stuff into it. We'll get there. We'll see how it actually works. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't ever assume that it's going to be as good as uh, a stock or modified uh, axial truck. Oh my. Okay. I feel like we're getting into some questions here. Will you come to Motorama? James, I don't know. Um, my travel budget for this year is uh, limited. Uh, I did a lot of traveling in previous years and I'm trying to uh, focus on doing some other stuff RC related. Uh, there is going to be a, a trip, a vlog, a, a, a series that I'm going to be doing in the spring summer um, that I think is going to be fairly interesting, so keep an eye out for that. Trailfinder RTR is $4.99, so okay, uh, it's getting up there into the price. Thanks for finding that, Humboldt. I appreciate it. I would have liked to see more aluminum parts like other RC four-wheel drive trucks have. Well, this isn't an RC four-wheel drive truck. It's just distributed by them. 
Uh, am I at all disappointed by how many parts are plastic instead of aluminum? Um, not, not really. I'm not really disappointed. The, the parts that uh, are sort of key to how this truck will function are all metal. Um, plastic uh, axle shafts or axle uh, housings I'm not surprised by. Um, there is a metal leaf spring. The chassis is aluminum. The uh, motor mount and uh, planetary gear uh, uh, transmission doodad is all metal. I wouldn't have, I would have, uh, yeah, okay. If the transfer case was metal, I would have been happier there, definitely. Um, but other than that, like, what else do you want to be metal? I guess the A arms, maybe for the for the IFS, sure, I guess so. Um, but. but you know, we're not putting this thing under a tremendous amount of load. Think of this as like a really classy uh, RC model. I think that's probably the best way to look at it. Um, am I expecting to do like wicked mad jumps with it? No, <laughs> no way, never. Uh, but maybe I will, who knows? <laughs> uh, let's do some more questions. Do leather seats, yeah, that would look cool. I could definitely make that happen. Um, make a running video with your FJ60. Uh, there is. There's like two on the channel. You just have to go back and find them. Uh, this thing jumps ahead every once in a while. Oil filter for a Suzuki Samurai. <laughs> yeah, totally. Totally. Trail Fighter 2 RTR is 799. Uh, yeah, okay. I appreciate you guys checking in with that. What is Josh's forum called? Josh, you mean Harley Josh? He doesn't have a forum. Um, poop brown, poop bound paint. That's something we could maybe think about doing that. Uh, Calgary in the spring? Oh gosh, uh, I wish. I'm actually going to be out west at Christmas time this year. How much for my hat? I don't know. I bought it in Vegas like six years ago. Um, looks like they put a lot of detail into it. Definitely. Uh, I will send it. It will be sent. I am sure the transfer case is not aluminum. It is 100% definitely plastic. And If I have to prove that by um, getting out a blade and slicing at it, I will do so because my viewers are very important to me. Yep, that's plastic. <laughs> 100%. Just scraped off a little tiny bit of plastic. It's, it's plastic. It's not probably the strongest plastic either. I would love to see an upgrade for that. Uh, I wonder, I wonder if you could even get maybe like an RC four-wheel drive transfer case in there. Climate control and heated steering wheel. Good question. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Get in there and let's see. It. No, I see no controls at all on the steering wheel. I think that's a fairly, fairly weak job there, JD model. I wonder, wonder what JD stands for. Is it worth buying? That's an excellent, quick question. Well. Yeah, I, do, I okay. It depends on what you want to use this for. If you are going to buy it to build a very scale accurate model and uh, treat it nicely, then yes, a hundred percent. If you want to buy this to try to off road, do rock crawling, take it to that extreme kind of level, don't do it. No way. Not. Not that sort of, not that sort of thing. This is definitely more of a make nice videos, take good pictures, uh, take off this body and, and build something really tricked out and crazy. Definitely, hundred percent. Can I put it side by side? Who's, where'd that go? Can you put it side by side with a deadbolt? Well, my deadbolt is. Um, uh, unfortunately not much of a deadbolt anymore, but what I've got something, I must have something handy that I could put it next to that would, I'll put it next to a trail finder too. How about that? Um, we'll try to, we'll try to make it so there's enough room for both here. Hang on one second. I'll get the trail finder too. 
Here we go, Marlin Crawler. And there you go. So, accurate wise, accuracy wise, that's uh that's pretty close. These these Hiluxes are tiny little trucks, very tiny. Uh, up against uh, an F-150 Raptor, this looks pretty close. And I mean, the Toyota's lifted, obviously, and the, the Raptor would probably be more closer to up here. Um, so yeah, I'd say it scales into the one ninth realm, which is exactly what scale I like to work in. Harley is awesome.com is not a website, and it won't work. Probably leads you to a porn site. Slash forum slash fa Facebook. <laughs> Still less plastic than a TRX4. Well, I don't know. I No comment. <laughs> a size comparison to another truck. I'm doing one right now. Um, I, I could try... Try zooming out a little bit. There, does that help? Does that help? It helps a little bit. Get a better idea of it. Um, here, what we'll do is we'll put the Marlin in front of this. And you can see all this stuff that was hiding over here. <laughs> I gotta find out where this bearing came from. It was in the box. I don't know. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much right on the money um, for ninth scale. Cool. Planning on pulling anything with it to get some scale shots? Uh, I don't know. I'm not much of a trailer guy. I had a trailer that uh, part of my new built many, many moons ago. I sold it. I think it's in Australia now, actually. So um, I'm not sure if I would do a, a trailer. May maybe. Maybe. I'm, I don't know. It'd be good for photos, that's for sure. Wow, $10. Love your channel and Harley design. Still cracks me up that you made the wipers backwards on the honcho. I know. I I really, <laughs> I don't know why Why I didn't think that through. I just went, I just started making them and then I glued them on. I was like, wait a second, this doesn't look right. Uh, this truck looks awesome in my opinion. What electronics would you recommend for it? Well, because it's not uh, competition or a heavy duty rock crawler uh, I would probably put in like a nice 35 turn brushed motor uh, with a 13 to 1 reduction it's not gonna go super fast but it's gonna be nice nice speed I don't think it needs brushless uh, and uh, looks like there's tons of room in there for electronics uh, we'll have to get the body off we should start working on that soon um, but I would probably say like a Tekken FXR or a Castle Mamba um, do they have, they have a micro or a brushed uh, ESC still? Uh, post in the thing if they're if they do. Uh, but that's what I would recommend. I don't think you need to go crazy with it. Um, probably a stronger than normal servo because uh, it's a big truck and it's pretty heavy. Uh, and with IFS, you're going to want to make sure you've got as much steering as possible. So thank you MFB0109 for that super chat. That money's going to go straight to um, RC. Uh, for a cure. Thank you. Uh, JDM, uh, yeah, that sounds sounds like what it could be, but uh, it's definitely from China. Uh, I would take the truck apart and paint the interior and make it look super stale. Definitely, Lewis. Definitely. Kevin Nugent, $10. Thanks for the review. Would make an awesome tow rig. Yes, I agree, 100%. It would. Uh, thank you for the, for the super chat. I will make sure that that gets put into the RC for a cure fund. Thank you very much. Uh, do I think it would hold up to brushless? Mm, I don't think so. I, I wouldn't put brushless into this. Uh, it might hold up, but I still wouldn't do it. You should take the logo from the top left of the stream and let you see more. But then I wouldn't get my branding in there. And branding is very important to me. <laughs> Here, I'll get rid of the Marlin. I think we've got a pretty good idea that these are fairly similar. I can't get much wider than that anyway, guys. It's uh, There's no more room on the desk. That's all there is on the workshop. So you're not, you're not missing anything, trust me. Uh, Micro Mamba X. All right. Yes, I am going to take it apart. Let's get to that. Check the transfer case transmission for the missing bearing. 
Ah, yes, that's probably where it came from. Thank you, Omega. Uh, JD model is not from Germany, I don't think. I'm here. Did you miss it? Tiago, no, you didn't miss it. You're watching it. It's on. It's happening. It's going. Translucent branding may be an option. I don't think I can at this point guys. It's it's built into the stream I'm not I can't turn it off Anyway, let's start taking things apart um, Looks like it's got a lot of screws There's a lot of stuff going on here. I know that some guys have taken the wheels off uh, you have to take off all those little nuts um, To get the wheels off which sounds like a total pain yeah, dude, this thing is seriously screwed to this body. There are a lot of screws. Might as well start somewhere though, right? No, no, double branding means double paying attention. SBG in the corner, SBG in the other corner, like and subscribe, SBG live stream. There are, oh wait, that is not a body mount. Put that back on, unbelievable. Oh, it's got a lot of body mounts. That's good, right? You want it to be firm and attached it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. tired of this already 2018 Hilux dual cab would be perfect yeah is that a body no that's part of the chassis that's part of the chassis that looks like it's body and chassis oh my gosh there's no instruction manual uh, included which is a bit disparaging for someone like me I don't want to hear about screws after just switching to stainless in the X-Max. Oh man, yeah, that's that would be a lot of screws. Uh, will I be changing changing all the screws? I don't I don't know. Why would I change them? I don't. I'm not going to get this thing like I'm not going to run it through the wet, so it's not going to get rusty. Okay, that's one side. There's probably more on the front that I I'm going to miss, but. You know what I can't believe? It's not butter. <laughs> if you guys are still watching me take screws out, I applaud you all. I can't wait to get this off. Just do the six outside and the front comes off. I want everything off to see what's underneath here. <laughs> yes, okay, I'll use my drill. I wanted to keep the noise to a minimum. You know what I need? I need that new, uh, I need that new uh, hand power screwdriver that Harley just bought. get this in there properly. Sorry, I'm new at this. Uh, that this is a serial number, I presume, and it's it's dremeled right into the uh, into the the chassis rail. Oh, that is the battery tray. Duh! God, man, oh man. Honestly, guys. Uh, I should have thought about this before I did it. <laughs> or I should have... I should have done it before getting on the live stream. That would have been helpful, huh? Oh well. You know what? Your pain is my pain. Okay. Is that enough? Oh, there goes the cab. Cab 
tabs off. Check that out. Yes, that looks rad. That looks really rad. Okay, now I can see why some people are saying there's a lot of plastic. Um, because these shock mounts, front and rear, and that's interesting, They're it's modular, so you could actually, if you changed out the axle, you could probably mount these on either side if you wanted. I don't know why you would, but anyway. Uh, these are all plastic, these cross members. So in that regard, yes, I would have liked to have seen a little more metal here, especially here, and maybe even this uh, rear bumper element here too. Um, boo urns! I was saying boo urns. Um, what else can I take off here? Uh, don't forget to open the doors and the two screws located at the bottom inside door frames to get the cab off. Oh, okay. Thank you. Somebody's already got one of these and is helping. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, hey, guess good news for me. There's one screw missing in the front there, so that'll, that'll make quick work. Is a honcho cage handy? Gosh, you know what? I think there might be one handy. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be close. I think it might actually work. I have one somewhere. It's not handy, handy, but it's around. If we get to it. We'll get to it. it actually, looks kind of cool without the, without the bed on the back. Not sure a stock Raptor is considered a desert truck anymore. Yeah, if you if you watch YouTube at all, which you are right now, uh, there's definitely a bunch of great Raptor fails that I've seen that are pretty hilarious. Is that enough? No, there's still something in the front. Hang on here. See what we're missing. That's going to probably be the IF. So the bumper here? Is it the bumper? No, the bumper stays on. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. This is very challenging to do live, but I think worth it, yeah? You bought one of these for your niece? Can you be my uncle? Looks like the right screw. Zero one two seven. So that means they've at least made 127 of these, I bet. <laughs> Richard, yes. I should do a reboxing. <laughs> oh man. I'm not gonna want to put this body back on after this. I'm gonna be finished with this. Throw it in the box. Throw it away. There we go. Huzzah. I took the battery tray off like a ding dong. All right. There we go. Chassis alone, empty, bare, naked. Uh, I will say that this body is pretty darn impressive. It's uh, it's got a lot of bits and pieces, and uh, it's it's pretty cool. I definitely think that that's going to be a nice pickup for somebody. I think I might give it away. Maybe give it away on the forums. To one of our members. Anyway, there is the chassis. Let's move all these screws and screwdrivers and. Get all this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna lose all these screws. <laughs> Transfer case support, also plastic. Here it is. That's the basic layout. Do we even need to have this on right now? Sort of. Sort of we do. Just leave 
that there for now. Okay. One of my thoughts on the 69 Blazer that you did, do you think it's a good model? Uh, the Axial 69 Blazer? Yes, I do. I think it's a good one. Reboxing. Definitely need to make it easier to get inside of it. I guess so, but once it's together, it's together. Um, it's really super easy to get into the battery tray without taking the body off, so I don't know that you really need to do that. Um, but I want to just take a quick look at these shocks. These are actually really, really nice. Nicely machined. I don't like the um, zip tie holding on the uh, holding on the reservoir there. That seems kind of weak, but um, you know what? It looks pretty good. Wish I had screwed that in. <laughs> Wish I didn't take that off. Um, yeah, planetary gearbox up front. Um, they showed a lot of. Um, they were showing a lot of, of, uh, like a real motor cover sort of thing, here in in the early, early models. But I don't see that anymore. Um, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> And I haven't seen it in any promotional stuff either, so my guess is that they've decided to do away with that or maybe make it an upgrade later on. Um, but yeah, I think it's all going to go together quite nicely. And, and you're, you're like, where's that drive shaft? That should be included. It is. It's in this box. It's in this bag right here, so definitely included. Um, plastic servo mount. Again, see, these, these are sorts of some of the details that I think should have been metal this should be metal this should be metal uh, the transfer case should be metal uh, these rear supports they should all be metal too and they actually probably could have been uh, it wouldn't be difficult to machine something like that anyway that should have all been metal in my opinion uh, does it change my opinion overall on the model no it doesn't i still think it's pretty great uh, it's so nice to see this accurate uh, um, independent front suspension it looks amazing uh, yes these arms are plastic as well but uh, it's fairly rigid and I don't I don't suspect it's gonna be a lot of issue um, holding the steering together that's pretty neat uh, can, you, can you see that it's got like a metal sleeve in the center here this thing so that's pretty cool I like that a lot everything in place and of course lockable and unlockable diffs the plastics are not brittle uh, they're they they don't feel brittle to me uh, they feel pretty rigid uh, with a tiny bit of flex which is what you want from plastic again I don't like none of these are failure points you're not gonna um, you're not going to break anything like this in traditional kind of usage unless you're really, really hard on your toys. And I'm, I'm not. I've, I can count, like, I, I think I've only broken three rod ends in my entire RC adventuring. I've never broken anything massive. Uh, IFS is definitely sexy. Transfer case support is plastic. What kind of unboxing is this? It's the JD model hero uh, F-150 thingy. Does it weigh eight pounds with so much plastic because the body is so heavy? I don't know, like, I, I, what, what more do you need other than the things that I've talked about? What else would you want to see metal? That's a good question. Post it in the thingy. They recommend 35 turn brushed motor. Okay, so I was right on the money. I didn't even know that. Remember when cars are painted the same color as the transmission? Oh. I do. <laughs> are the frame rails running the full length? Um, they are a separate piece. It is, it, it's almost like the IFS system is separate from the front rail. But that's good. 
because that means I you could actually maybe even shorten this wheelbase just by pulling in that whole front section here like right here is where they join up the two sections of rail um, so in theory you could probably take out one of these screws move the whole thing back and just make a another little mount or another screw hole somewhere um, to make this shorter that actually would be a really good idea thank you for asking that question Humboldt uh, what are my thoughts on servo winch for the blazer versus ones exposed in the front Steven this is about the JD model um, truck I, I, I I don't I like it de it depends on what your servo needs are if you want a servo winch uh, or if it depends on what your winch needs are if you want a servo winch they're much more powerful than anything you mount on the front but they're not scale accurate so it's a trade-off if you're doing it for comps I would always say servo winch if you're doing it for looks put the winch up front metal band clamps to hold on the reservoirs so actually pretty scale <laughs> okay all right good to know good to know um metal is not i don't know if metal's overrated or not future metal upgrades coming maybe um maybe for sure um i don't think it would be difficult to um to do any of these upgrades it would be it would be nice to see but it and, and nice to have especially like the spring perches those are plastic too wouldn't mind seeing metal ones there that would be helpful um oh i wonder if this is supposed to be the way this is is you guys, is this is this normal? Tell me if that's normal. The spring, um, is that going to focus? Yes. The spring perch here is uh, inverted, so like it actually flexes. Let me see if I can do this here. That way. Is that normal, or should the spring be the other way around? Somebody tell me. Modern plastics can be super strong. I doubt they cheaped out. Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't think you're going to have failures in any of these plastics. Uh, again, you have, you'll have to be really mean to it or have to be really cold for you to break any of this stuff. It's just my opinion. Rear locks, apparently no front lock. Well, you'd be wrong about that because uh, there is definitely 100% a locking cable going to that front axle. So you can definitely lock the front and the rear. That is for sure. I'm just starting on the hobby and I'm curious your thoughts on a good quality servo for the 69 Blazer. Uh, I, I, anything like anything from uh, like the 200 ounce inch up to 400 ounce inch is going to be tons of tons of torque. Shock reservoirs are zip tied in place. They are. Aluminum's overrated. Not all metal I use chromo and titanium in my crawlers. Aluminum is too stiff and forgiving. Hmm. Okay. Trans support needs to be metal for any kind of load and power. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. There's a bit of flex there for sure. I could see myself maybe just making up a new mount for that. Again, uh, if you're putting, you shouldn't be putting this thing under a ton of load. Uh, this is just my personal opinion. Front drive shaft's metal. Uh, yes, front drive shaft is metal. Rear drive shaft is metal. Uh, the one that connects these two is metal. Uh, the uh, universals on the IFS are metal. And it goes to a dog bone on the output. That's all metal. Metal tires, yeah. Why don't we have metal tires yet? Seriously. Um, yeah, subframe. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. It definitely is. Um, it would require a fair bit of modifying, I think, to shorten the wheelbase there. It might just be easier to cut and shut the thing right down the middle. Um, Christopher, I had a mini meltdown. I clicked the channel and you'd already taken it apart. And I'm sitting here saying, what did this crazy Canadian do? Well, don't worry. You'll be able to go back and start it from the beginning if you were so inclined and want to watch it again. Harley being helpful as always. Yeah. Still way better than the TRX-4. Well, it's different. This is this is different. And again, it's sort of like it goes back a little bit to my G-Made Bomb review that I just did. It's different. Is it different enough? Is it different for the right reasons? This, the JD model truck, is different for the right reasons. It's designed to be much more of a scale accurate truck, designed for light trail work, designed for looking good in photos, looking good in video, and 
offering a more scale accurate level of performance. And that's why I bought it because I wanted something that I could treat gently and accurately. <laughs> Metal windshield upgrade. <laughs> How much front travel is there? Let me see if I can get you an accurate measurement on that. I'll get out a ruler. I always have a ruler handy. Um, and we'll see if we can measure the amount of flex from some point here. Um, I'll even do it in inches for you if that helps. So let's say it's like three and, uh, and, and a quarter, three and a quarter inches right now. And on full compression, I can get it down to two and a quarter so there's an inch of travel not too bad it's firm so you'd have to to really get it going I'd actually I wouldn't mind actually changing out these springs and making it a little looser uh, that might that might help spring shackles are correct thank you TK Lati appreciate that Get me a set of those tires. I mean, they're they're pretty. They're a small tire. These are really small. Um, three and a what is that? One, two, three and a six. Uh, under three and a half. Under three and a half inches high. So they're not a big tire. Where do you mount the electronics? That is a good question. Where do you mount the electronics? Huh. I hadn't, I hadn't thought about that. You know what? Um, oh, there's probably pre plenty of room under the body. Yeah, there's a nice big, there's a nice big gap here that shouldn't interfere with anything. You'd probably stick everything under there. Or maybe even along each sides of the inner part of the battery tray. That might, that might work too. There's always room. You find room. I don't have the... If I had gotten the RTR, uh, then we'd know for sure. Test out some Walmart plastic wheels and a comp. Oh, man. Twin turbo brushless. Yeah. Why do people put two motors in? I never understood that. Take the tires off. Okay. I will. Maybe. We'll see. I have to see if I've got a wrench that'll fit these tiny little bolts. Oh, of course not. Nope. Oh dear. We've run into our first hiccup. What am I going to do Do that? Uh, to lock and unlock the diffs, you need another miniature servo. Yes. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think they have a mount. Yeah, the mount is built into the battery tray. So that's where your uh, servo for changing that would go and that's what these aren't servo savers they're uh to lock and unlock the diff uh servo clips so that's what that's for uh let's get those tires off we're gonna have to find a tool because those are tiny little bolts hmm wish i had something for that i'll i'll figure something out we'll get there give me a second let me catch up on the questions. Uh, thanks, Robbie, for watching. I appreciate it. Wood parts are the strongest. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, it'd be awesome to see an F100. Yep. Burn donuts. <laughs> yeah, do some donuts in it. That's for sure. Uh, next step in scale is to see an RC figure as a driver. Well, I, have, I have lots of figures. I even have myself. <sighs> Is me. Wait, if I make the same face? There. There I am. Kind of wobbly head. He would look good in this truck. I think he'd actually probably fit pretty good, if I'm honest. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good over here. Oil-filled shocks, uh, I presume, because these are functional reservoirs. Would a 1.9 fit? Most definitely. And in fact, this is the hub pattern is the same uh, as uh, as most RC four-wheel drive 
one, two, three, four, five, six bolt tires, so or wheels, I mean, so you should be able to, to find something that would go on there. Go enjoy being an adult. Three electronics boxes? Todd, are you watching the same video we're watching? There's no electronics boxes on this. That's the G-Made bomb. Uh, what do I think is the best budget crawler? Interesting in one that is licensed? Oh, man. Uh, I don't... I don't know. If you guys want to make a suggestion for uh, D. Mayberry, go right ahead. Uh, licensed, but I don't like the Cherokee SCX-102, or the Land Rover Defender TRX-4, or the Chevy C10 uh, Vitara. I mean, they're all licensed. Um, it's really what your personal preference is, I think. Cue the Ripper soundtrack. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I could do that, I guess. Uh, okay, let's get these tires off. Let's figure this out. How am I going to do that? Um, I'm going to have to find... That looks really small. And I bet you these caps don't come off, so I can't just take off the nut course. Uh, I like the fact that there is a, a brake disc and a rotor back there, and the, and the brake disc... The rotor spins, the disc disc spins, but the, the calipers don't. Yeah, that's good. Uh, leaf springs are, yeah, they're probably similar to a TF2. How are we going to get these tires off? I don't want to use like a wrench or, I mean, a shoot. I don't really think that part through. Stand by for a moment. i got to move the camera around. Get in my workbench here. Ah, is this thing from Locked Up RC going to do it? No, it's too small. Darn it. That was the best, I think that was the best thing I had in here for something like that small. Shoot. Darn it all the heck. You get to see the inside of my messy workbench. I think we may just have to fiddle at this for the next hour or load up on coffee oh man I'm going to strip the heck out of this wheel I don't know how I'm supposed to get in there to get these off they don't in I'm sure they don't include a tool for that obviously why would they do that uh, making myself very furious. This doesn't fit. What am I going to do, guys? Scale lug wrench. Hmm. Well... Are we hooped for this part? How am I going to get these off, guys? You would think that they would make this part easier. Maybe, yeah, I don't know if my needle nose pliers are even... Maybe these will work? I don't know. This is not going as I anticipated. Two and a half mil nut, eh? Well, I don't think I have that. can't even get the needle nose pliers. Oh wait, hang on. I turned it half a mil. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Yeah, no, the tires definitely come off. Uh, it's not a question of that. Um, maybe my skin holds. Maybe I've got something in here. Worst day ever. This is infuriating. Oh, I think Josh is phoning me. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what Josh wants. What do you want? He's trying to tell me maybe to use like a nut, like an actual bolt, but I don't have anything that size, I don't think. Impact. Try the head of a screw, yeah. Um, that's what I'm, that's what I was trying to find, but. something that I have in my collection of junk that'll work, but I can't figure it out. Oh, Shane, Shane posted his way of doing it. Hang on a second. Okay. I, link, please. Let's see what he says about that. Yes, the transfer case is plastic. Everyone has a three millimeter cap head, I thought. Well, yeah, I do, but I don't think it fits. No, it doesn't. Not even close. Sigh. Yes, the head of a screw does work, usually, but it's it's really hard to get in there. Yeah, a wrench for the wheels would have been helpful, for sure. I'm obviously missing something. Otherwise, this, these would be off by now. link to Instagram. Here we are in the Zerville garage. Got the new JD Miles F-150 Desert Runner. Got the ready to run version. Couldn't wait to uh, start taking it apart. So just want to see what the wheel and hub assembly look like. Um, did have to make a tool uh -huh. out of a screw that I ground down and Fit to this handle. Ah. RC four-wheel drive size, RC four-wheel drive bolt pattern, and take the wheel off. All right. So I need to make a tool out of a nut. That should be no problem. <laughs> Just gotta find the right nut. Two and a half mil, eh? I don't know if I believe you guys. 
Uh, Josh, thanks for sending that my way. Maybe that will work. I don't know. I feel foolish. Comes quite naturally, though. <laughs> and maybe that'll work. I don't know. So just a regular, like, two and a half mil? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I have to drill out the inside of it, too. What a pain in the butt. All right, well, maybe we don't get to that today. Honestly, I, ugh, it's infuriating. Oh well, uh, a three mil screw. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know if I do have one of those. Believe it or not, it may be maybe something I don't have <laughs> sitting around that I can get into it with. Uh, it, it's gonna re it's gonna require more work to get the tool ready than is worth on this live stream. Josh is being very helpful, uh, and I, I do appreciate it. Yes, I have I have a three mil right here, but it's it's too big to fit in the hole. Okay, let's let's move on for now. Um, the great news is, though, that it is a pin mount underneath this wheel, uh, and uh, that means you can put any wheel and tire combo that you want on there. So, um, yeah. So let's um, let's move on. Anybody else have any questions? Instead of me fumbling with a screw for. 10 minutes. Let's get back to it. I will check out Gearhead's RC, uh, Gearhead RC's uh, line of tools. I'll probably just turn this down later and uh, and make my own and, and get these things off of here because this is madness that they don't include a 3 mil nut. Anywho, not going to bore you guys with that part. Are there any more questions about the truck? Anything else you want to see while I'm, uh, while I have it all taken apart here? Or are we good? Everybody happy? No, uh, well, yes and no. Uh, Darwin, there is, there is, the main leaf is metal, and then there are two helper leafs that are plastic underneath. Um, how would I go about finishing that exhaust off? I'd probably bend up some tube, uh, have it come up in underneath, behind the spare. That wouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, this, this battery tray doesn't want to stay put. I should just glue it back or screw it back on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Damn you all to hell. There we go. Quick work of this thing. Driving me nuts. There we go. Uh, gear reduction unit. It's a planetary gear system. Uh, it's not a GRU per se, but it does reduce the amount of... Yeah, it is a GRU slash planetary gear um, transmission. So... That's how that works. Uh, as for body, it's it's hidden back here. I hope it fits. I like I, I know that I'm gonna have to do some modifying to get it to fit 100 percent But I think it's definitely got potential. Here we go. Forerunner. 
probably going to be a bit. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, it's a little long, but we're going to make that work. We're going to make that work real good. Look at that. That's boss. <laughs> that looks terrible. <laughs> that looks awful right now. Um, but you can tell that it's going to make for a really nice, really nice chassis. Just a touch long. We can shorten it, though. That's easy. Uh, the hero body is going to get uh, give it away. I think we'll give it away. We'll give it away on the forum, though. Uh, it should be uh, given away to somebody on the forum. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Would I do a copy of an Icon? They're pretty cool, definitely. Um, but uh, there's a few guys already that have already done them. Uh, the guy who used to own the forum, Kevin, uh, he's going to do one, or he is doing one right now. Uh, and... Uh, I'll see if I can add that link so you can check out his uh, later on. Yeah, MFAB 4 Runner. Uh, I think it's going to look really good on here eventually. It still requires a lot of effort, but it'll get done. Love that body. Uh, Land Cruiser 200 Series? Which one is that exactly? Um, I don't think he's done with those yet. Dremel does fix everything. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to use these wheels and tires, so I guess I could just cr crush them right off, but I don't want to do that. I'll do that later. I'll make this tool and then post up on the forums after I'm done. A Sherp. <laughs> that truck is very interesting. I've seen a lot of those on YouTube, and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty popular little uh, off-roader thingy. All right, we've been going now for an hour and a half-ish. Uh, anybody have any more questions about this or want to see anything else? Um, it's a good looking truck. I think it's got a lot of potential. I think it's gonna be a really great platform for a lot of people to build some pretty cool stuff on. If it's not, oh man, this body, it's mostly, you know what it is? It's the interior that weighs so much. It's a big, heavy interior, and it's got a lot of bits and pieces. But I think, you know, all things considered, this is a pretty great platform on which to build. Um, it's nice that they include this really trick body. Um, it'll make someone else very happy, I'm sure. Uh, and, you know, it's not like I don't have any complaints about it. I don't think it's a bad looking body or or anything it's just not my cup of tea and uh, yeah overall very happy with the JD model uh, hero truck I think it's gonna be a great platform the the setback for me especially is that there is no tool included to get these wheels off I'll have to turn down uh, a 3 mil screw and, and use it to get get them off uh, which I've got it'll just take some time to do it um, and that's, uh, that's it. Any more questions here? What do I think of the quality so far in this kit? Um, I think it's definitely a very good quality kit. Uh, there's a lot of nice innovation. I love seeing an independent front suspension. Love the way they handled the leaf springs in the back. Uh, the body is a very nice, uh, replica. Uh, it's, it's going to need to be finished properly. Um, I would, I would never leave it bare plastic like this. It needs to be painted. Um, overall, definitely very impressed. Looks like it needs a lot of detail. Yeah, it should, it should, it does require some detail, for sure. Uh, yes, uh, that is a Pinsgauer that I'm building right now on the ECX Barrage chassis. Uh, that's the Gen 2. And uh, this is a scratch-built body that I started working on. And uh, look at how happy that little face is. Some 3D printed parts are getting put 
on this truck as well. It's going to be a fun little build. Uh, there was tons of styrene dust in here earlier. I had to vacuum the whole thing out. Uh, build off with Harley. I don't think Josh is going to buy one of these. He's probably seen enough out there. Uh, will it fit a Tamiya Tundra chassis? I don't understand. The body? No. This body is huge. Uh, I wouldn't be afraid to use it. I think it's definitely going to be one of those things that uh, I'm going to use a lot, actually. Going to get a lot of trail time on it. Four things on the roof are lights. Uh, you know, like running lights, I guess. Uh, there's no lights included with this, but uh, it's it's still pretty neat. Uh, thanks, Luis. Many thumbs up. Uh, JJ, you're the real hero, my friend. Not me, you. With all the plastic parts and the suspension, do you think it will hold up? Uh, I'm sure it'll hold up just fine. I don't really think it's it's meant to be wheeled hard. I think it'll be just fine. Um, and will there be replacement or upgrade parts? Possibly. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with JD model. I'm not sure what their uh, their scheme is for this truck long term. Um, it's always possible, though. No, uh, you're right. It's not a scale drive train on the pins. It's uh, not portal axled, and uh, it's just mainly just to do something different with that, that chassis and to put a different body on it. All right, guys, I think if that's it, I, I appreciate you all watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm very pleased with the truck overall. I think that the JD Model Hero is going to be something that I'm going to get a lot of use out of, and I'm looking forward to changing it and making my own. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And those of you who super chatted, I really appreciate that. And RC for a cure appreciates it too. Let's try to end MS in our lifetime. Thank you so much, and we will talk to you all soon.